what do you think to the T7? I hate it. Yeah, you don't like no, it? It's, it's not for me. I think it's got the wrong name. Probably going to say he doesn't like it. I'm not diving in as a big fat. T7 multivan video. So this, I love posting details of this and posting pictures because I love all the controversial comments that you see off the back of it. So these are very much a love-hate, most people hate. But what I do like seeing is we post pictures and people go, oh, that's horrible, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. VW's design team needs sacking. This is the end of the T-series and all that. And then let you post more pictures of various different stages of modification and that story changes and people go, oh, I'm starting to like it now. And we were the same, don't get me wrong. First of all, here's some facts. This is a T7 multivan. It's not just a multivan. All the marketing and information from VW says it's a T7 multivan. If this is not a replacement for your T6.1 or your transporter platform. I do still believe there will be a T7.1, which will be the commercial version of this van, but this will sit in between the Caddy and the transporter. It's not a replacement for it either but this is called a T7 multivan and the fact that it has that T in it and we're called Transporter HQ means we will develop parts for it and I believe that there will be a T7.1 and that will be the multivan platform version of this vehicle and I think it'll work. I think there's definitely a gap for it to sit in between the two but yes, the T6.1 will continue to run now probably till 2025 and then it's most likely to be a collaboration with Ford that will come out of a factory in Turkey, most likely. Don't hold me to that but that's what I believe. And no, it won't just be a rebranded Ford Transit Custom. If it's anything like the new Amarok that's coming out, which looks absolutely amazing, by the way. In fact, I'll post a picture of it here. We've got one on order. Can't wait to get our hands on one. It's predominantly VW. Um, the, I think there was the mirrors and the door handles and the engine from Ford. But the problem with Volkswagen and their engines are they burnt themselves with the whole diesel gate thing. Uh, and while they're going in another direction developing, they're letting Ford to continue to develop their Ford um, engines. And I think it probably will help them when it comes to going into certain markets that don't like the VW engine. So the States for argument's sake. I think this is likely that this will, as much as you've not seen the transporter since the early Bay stuff in America, the, I'm sure the T7 multivan will make its way there because it kind of suits the purpose of transporting people around. It's small for them, but they're moving more and more. Every time I go out there, I see more and more smaller vehicles. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm digressing a little bit. So whenever we post pictures of this and details of this, it gets loads of hate. Everybody likes to tag their mate and go, look, it's the new Renault Spass or it's the um, Toyota Previer or, or it looks like this. Look how ugly it is and I'll never buy one. Um, exactly the same happened, perhaps not on the same scale, but when the uh, T6.1 came out, everybody was posting pictures of a Vauxhall Vivaro. It's ugly, it's the ugliest thing, it's ruined the transporter. And now most people love the T6.1. I really like the T6.1 bar, Preface, so the early T5, which is my favourite look. I think the T6.1 is the best look a transporter's had. And you see more and more face, people facelift now to T6.1s because they just look more up to date and modern. It's just one of them. The more our eyes see it, the more we get used to it. And the same will happen here, I guarantee it. You may be a hater now and you'll continue to be a hater. And then one day you'll look at it and go, oh, I'm used to seeing that now. Actually, it looks quite nice. I like that. Especially when we've put our twist on it. So we've had this now for a couple of weeks. It's back to standard now. Uh, you, we did post some pictures on social media of it of us just lowering it and putting some wheels on it. It was just the very first stages of what we were doing. Uh, it went back to standard and then my business partner uh, took this off to Cornwall at the weekend, well, for an extended weekend, and he absolutely loved it. Him and his wife said, there is no greater vehicle, more comfortable, more practical vehicle when ferrying around with the children and they've had lots of vehicles over the years. This was the perfect vehicle for them. It did everything they wanted and it's mega comfortable because it's just modern inside, you know, pan roof, all the trimmings, 200 and something brake horse. They loved it, absolutely loved it. So much so, they said, could they keep it? but the problem is we like to tear them apart and break them and put new pits on it so that can't happen just yet what we thought we'd do is we'd get it back low again put some wheels on it do a few other changes that we've been working on for the grill show you some other bits we're working on some stuff that we're designing for the front end to make it a little bit nicer head over to caffeine and machine tonight and get some people's reactions see what they think about it uh, and we'll see see how that changes in time so get it back low again put some wheels on it so the, the fitment is slightly different the pictures we used were the navis steel wheels and they were just the best things that we can access right now because of the size of them because they're eight and a half wide so we can run an eight and a half front and rear but we're having some custom design navis wheels made for this in fact i'll show you a picture of them just here 
section looking wheels for it for when it's done and it's load. So we're, this will be running static for a little while. We are developing a bag kit for it. Uh, it's not particularly far away, but we've got all the measurements we needed last time we had it on the ramp when we put the static suspension on, but there will be an air suspension kit coming for these soon. Uh, and we hopefully should have this bag probably in the next two or three weeks. But we're gonna whiz it inside now, make those changes, film some of it, head off to caffeine the machine, and then ask you lot what you think of it. Apologize for being dressed like such a chav. Uh, it's, this is that day that's crazy hot. So I think it's gonna reach 30. Eight degrees. Well, UK rest, so this is why I'm dressed like that. I do apologize, but yeah, let's get it inside where it's a little bit cooler, out the shade, and start working on it. Right, so just while that's going on out there, Mitch is magically in here too. So uh, this is the 3D printing lab. This is where we do loads of design and development stuff and testing pieces and stuff. But anyway, so here's some stuff that Mitch has been working on. So we just wanted to try and pretty up the front section a bit. So kind of, what's that, Mark 7 Golf-esque? Yeah, we're looking at the minute just testing and 3D printing some more browns on the, that's a T7 bumper there that we've 3D scanned just to give us a sample to base it off to see if we can add some more style in. But we'll do a future video where we get this printed and mounted up before we put anything to production. But just an idea of the kind of thing that we're working on to pretty up that front end of it. So there we go, that's stage one complete. So from the original pictures that we shared online, it still had the chrome strips on. So we've de-chromed the side, which they all seem to come as standard. We've also, we've de-chromed the rear. So it has a chrome strip along the rear there. We've left the multi-brand and the hybrid stuff on. Navis, 20 inch holy wheels, eight and a half front and rear, but that's not the ideal ET. We'll go into that in some more details when the custom wheels come. Flat these front grills here, cause they come in gray. Just wanted to break up the bulk of that gray. And obviously it's sitting on this prototype solo suspension. So that's kind of where we'll leave it for now while we develop those front dial in that we showed you earlier. Needs a sun strip of course, when triggers back, cause he's the only one that's tall enough to reach them. And then air suspension will be coming very shortly after. We've got all the dimensions and stuff we need. So next, this man here. We'll uh, get the bag kit made. We're gonna take this off the caffeine machine now and meet up with the low life guys, get their opinion on it. I'll take the camera with me, ask some people some true opinions. It looks a lot better in real life and hopefully that's what we'll find out when we go to caffeine machine. But if people hate it, we'll show you they hate it. If they like it, we'll show you they like it. So follow us, we'll go over there now and see what they say. Right, here we are at Caffeine and Machine for this low life transporters meet. So surrounded by guys that know transporters, low transporters, and some real experts. I'll introduce you to Darren in a minute. He's featured in other videos, I'm sure. So here we are with the T7 multivan. Parked it up here and we're getting people's reactions, watching people walk past and take photos and just trying to get people's opinion on what they think it is. So here we have Darren Woodhouse from Woodhouse and Carmen fame, this guy, transport specialist you know your stuff if it comes to transporters this guy knows it so Darren be honest I've not prompted you what do you think to the T7 um, I have to be completely honest originally wasn't fussed with it right okay but now I've seen it in the flesh and what you've already done to it um, it's actually really cool um, it, it looks mega um, the insides mega and it's just I think it's gonna be next level especially when 
everybody starts doing the bits and bobs to put on them that people want to do. There you go. So it, like we keep saying, it's not a transporter replacement. It's not a T6.1, T5 replacement. It's completely different, different platform. Sits between the Caddy Maxi and the transporter, but it is possible to make them look cool. Right, next up, another transporter expert. This is Steve Fields off of Steve Fields' YouTube channel. Big guy, if you're into YouTube, you probably already follow Steve if you don't already. What's your YouTube, Steve? Steve Field, I've there. kept it original. There you go, creative, follow Steve. There's loads of cool transport stuff with his transporter. So feel free to say what you want, Steve. What do you think to the T7? Well, this is the first time I've really got up close to it because I've seen this on the <laughs> channel, but this is my first look at it close up. And there's some points on, there's some good bits on here. I'm going to say overall, I'm not diving in as a big fan, but looking at it, there looks like some points. A lot of this is going to grow on me because I didn't like the T6.1 when it first came out. And that grew on me. Really liking the back spoiler. I like the way that's been designed in and the bottom's got like a plastic shell. So there's, I'm diving right in. There's a few things I'm already spotting. Not to mention you've been fiddling with this one, which is drastically improved. They've got bigger wheels on it. It's lower. It's going in that right direction. But it still looks like you could literally go anywhere in it. And I will say, Syria, a bit of uh, a sort of French uh, Spass type car, but completely redone because the seats are nice. But the, um, the kind of Caraval arrangement, electric doors as well, nice. Um, I'm a big fan of that. So that's drawing me in. So when you get inside this, I, could, I can see that being really useful. Um, I think a lot of us get stuck up, up, held up on the exterior and like I said, there's some really good points to it. I think some of the pits I don't love might grow on me. Not quite feeling something here at the moment. I'm, loving, I'm liking that. I don't know, maybe it's the lights. Not sure, but overall, it's not bad. Steve's honest opinion, that's what I value. It's all right, there's some nice things about it. There's other stuff that can be tweaked. It looks nicer and nicer the more you look at it, I think. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, We've Steve. I've had longer to, to, to kind of appreciate it, and this is my very first time being up close, but there's a lot of good points to it as well, which I'm not being paid to say, so. There you go, checks in the post. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> there we go, let's go and find somebody else. So this is Wes. Wes owns that run just there, if you can see that. It's got the, actually, it's got our old Navis split wheels off the uh, flatbed on it. Beautiful, got our headlights as well. Anyway, so Wes knows his stuff, he knows how to build a nice transporter. So this is Wes and Wes is looking at our T7. I've tried Hello. to grab him quickly, but he's not told me what he truly thinks to it. Just go, Wes, what do you think to it? Seeing it in person, I think it's a lot nicer in person than seeing it on the internet. My first thoughts, like everyone else, I didn't like it, but after seeing it today, it's definitely got potential, 100%. And I think 12 months, a bit of styling, I think everyone, Everyone will like them. Still waiting to try and find someone that says they hate it. I'm trying. Who's next? Exactly. Mikey, what do you think to it? I like it's growing on me. There you go. There's a grower. I don't like it. There you go, great. So, <laughs> somebody, somebody has actually been honest because I think everyone's just playing this lip service. You don't like yeah, it. Just it. Great, thank you. <laughs> See, this is, this is what we came for. I wanted an honest opinion. I feel like people feel like they've got to say they like it when they truly don't, but he doesn't like it. Yeah. So Paul put on, pretty much put on this event, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, low life transporters, so go and follow low life transporters. Yeah. They have lots of low vans and cool looking vans. Paul's got a cool van. Uh, so he understands and appreciates a nice van. Paul, not asked you before, yeah. what's your opinion on the T7? Your one, I love it, but the standard one, it's not for me. Okay, so it's just a few modifications, a little bit lower that you like and a few changes. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. It's a grower, it looks better in the flesh, doesn't it? Yes, definitely. 100%. There you go. There you go. It's a grower. Right, I've grabbed Tom. Tom knows transporters very well. He spends a lot of time bagging them. Knows a lot about transporters. Knows how to build cool transporters. He's built lots of cool ones himself. So, Tom, what's your honest opinion? Not prompted. What's your honest opinion of the T7? Yeah, I really like it. I think, especially being lower, it really, really improves the look of the vehicle. Um, got that commercial look, but still really clean and smart. I think I really, really like it. But it, it looks so much better in real life than... 100% better in real life. And the sizing, it's it's hard on pictures to gauge the size of the vehicle until you actually see it in yeah. person. I think when you see it in person, it's, yeah. A few modifications. Really nice. Everything looks better low, though. Everything looks gonna... better low, yeah. There you go. Which yeah. definitely does help. But the, uh, overall, you quite like it. I really like it. Really. Yeah. I, I, if I had the money, I'd have one. Really like it. There you yeah. go. That's the first person <laughs> that said they really liked it. Thanks, Tom. Pleasure, mate. Well, I've just collared James here. He was walking past looking at it with his curl on his lip like he didn't really like it. So, <laughs> so uh, James, honest opinion of the T7? Um, I think it's got the wrong name. Um, Fair point. It, it's, it's all right. Front's not too bad. I think the back is a little bit too car -y. 
Um, but like you say, if it's an in-betweeny, it's not meant to be a van. Then. If it's not trying to replace the transport and it's sitting between the caddy and the transport, it's all right. It's yeah. just not a replacement for the transport. Yeah, yeah, no. Fair? Yeah, yeah. it's fair enough. Yeah. Similar opinion? Yep, same. Yeah, there more like go. a tour run than a uh, transport. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Still nobody hates it, you see. I'm trying to find somebody that says they hate it, like all the keyboard warriors do on, on Facebook and oh, YouTube. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hate it, it's ugly. See it, though, yeah, so it is diff completely different. Have you seen yeah. it online before? I've seen pictures. But yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. And it looks a lot different in the yeah, real life does, yeah. to the pictures. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's the opinion of it so far. Thank you very much, chaps. Yeah, no problem. Right, I'm trying to find Elliot Muse because this is Elliot's van. This is my probably my favourite van. There is out there. Love this preface. Fate, best look. Meteor grey. Same colour as we did the flatbed originally. The only one and only set of Navis GP7 wheels. So Elliot's hiding over there. I'm going to go and grab Elliot and ask his opinion. Right, I found Elliot, owner of the really nice preface T5s. Elliot works for Williams. Show your badge, look. So Elliot's cool. And he knows cars <laughs> inside and out. He knows a cool vehicle or not. Elliot, what do you think to the T7? I hate it. There Actually, you go. No, I don't. I don't, I don't hate it. Uh, everything looks better though. Fact. That's fact. And knowing that it doesn't replace the transporter, it's, it's nothing to hate about it. Exactly. And that was my worry. Well, like, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, I hope it doesn't replace the van. Just something I've always liked about them, and I was worried that that's what the issue was going to be. But it's not going to replace it, and you know, everything looks better low. That's low exactly it. and nice wheels. You can literally bag anything or make yeah. it low and it looks cool. Yeah. But like Elliot's got the original T5 look. Still, this is my favourite T5 look ever. The preface Caravelle look, Sportline lit. Best. That, that's my favourite T5 ever. Belongs to this man. And he, if he thinks that van's all right, I'll take his word for it. Thanks, Elliot. No worries. <laughs> so there we go. Can't find anybody that hates it. And I've tried. Trust me, I've tried. I've gone around asking everybody today, and it's not mine. Look at that ugly car over there, what do you think? And nobody says they hate it. Yes, admittedly, some people say they don't like it. But when people get ahead around the fact it's not T5, T6, T6, one replacement, it sits in between the caddy and the transporter. It's currently only a people carrying vehicle, but it does have the T7 name. It's the T7 multivan. Once they get their head around that, once they get to see it in the flesh, once they get to see it real, lowered, a few extras, finishes on it, different wheels, different style on the front, it seems to go down really well. Some people love it, some people think it's all right, but nobody hates it. So there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, even if you hate the T7. Comment below what you think it looks like. We're finished here at Caffeine Machine, it's time to go home. Thank you for watching. Please do like the video, even if you hate the vehicle. Please, it means a lot to us if you like it. It means other people get to see this ugly vehicle or beautiful vehicle, or however you think it would be. Share it with anybody that might be interested in the T7 or just might find the video interesting for any reason. Subscribe to the channel, plenty more videos coming, not just on this, but other cool vehicles. Lots of other cool T6, T5 stuff coming, bagging a really cool docker soon. We'll show you that on the new solo air suspension. And as always, thanks for watching. What happened with parking it? Just like to get anywhere close to anything, you have to put it in emergency, it starts to park itself. <laughs>